Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to create a pivot table uh, to include uh, in a dashboard in Google Sheets and how to create a chart based on a pivot table and how to apply data filtering using um, data slicers. Um, I already started working on a dashboard here. This dashboard is uh, monitoring data referring to a graduate program. Uh, in my data file, which is in uh, sheet one, I have uh, a list of uh, all of the students who were enrolled in this program with a lot of information about them. Um, uh, and I, what I want to do is include information about student enrollment and uh, be able to um, track enrollment and compare enrollment across um, academic years. So uh, to do that, um, I can go to, uh, I, I can select um, all of the columns in my data. Uh, and then um, I'm going to click insert and pivot table. And um, I want to use an existing sheet because I want to include it uh, on my dashboard. So I'm just going to select dashboard and uh, exclamation mark. And um, let me see uh, where I want to include it. Um, I want to include it in cell uh, J25. And then click create. So uh, you can see here I have a template for creating my uh, pivot table, which is now blank. Um, so I have to add information about the tables, columns, and rows. Now, in the rows, I want to um, uh, break down enrollment by student status. So, um, I am going to add here um, information about student status. And you see, I have different types of uh, student uh, status. I can see here that the blank um, is listed separately, blank values. And to avoid that, what I can do is uh, maybe add a filter. A trick to do this is to add a filter by the same variable, which is student status, and then just uh, uh, uncheck the blanks. And the blanks show because I selected all of the data, all of the rows. And that is helpful because uh, when I add more data in the file, then the table would update automatically. So now I have the rows, but as I uh, mentioned earlier, I want to look at enrollment across years. So um, in the columns, I am going to add enrollment year. So now you see I have a template for, um, um, I have the academic years uh, in each column, and then uh, the student status in each row. I'm missing the values that are displayed in the pivot table. So to show the values, I'm going to click on add. And then uh, because I just want a count of students in each year, I'm going to click on student name. This is uh, automatically going to use a uh, count a function to count the students uh, in each subcategory. So uh, this is very helpful information. I can see that across years, um, the in total enrollment has changed uh, and um, it was bigger in the initial years and then decreased in the last couple of years. Um, and then I also get a breakdown by student status. Of course, in the past years, more students have graduated. In the current years, there are more um, active students. But again, just by looking at the numbers, especially when we work with uh, a lot of data with uh, very large files, um, it's a bit hard to identify these trends. So it's a lot easier to represent this data graphically. So to do that, I may want to create a chart. And um, I am going to select the data that I want to represent, which is, uh, I'm going to 
not include the grand total, just to include um, this aggregated data, right, by year and by status. And then going to insert and then chart. And I am getting automatically a stacked bar um, chart, which is the most appropriate for this type of data. And this chart allows me to see, first of all, the total enrollment per year. I can clearly see that a total enrollment uh, uh, was the largest in year 2020 and then decreased um, in the following years. Of course, there are more active uh, students um, in the latest years. Um, and um, I can see the breakdown of the students who graduated, students who were um, dismissed or deferred uh, in each cohort. And then, of course, I can further break this down by semester if I want to. But um, this is uh, sufficient for now. I think this gives me the information that I need. And as I add more information every semester, this table is going to update. And also, this graph is going to update automatically. Now, notice that I have a slicer here. This is a slicer that I originally created for the first pivot table. The first pivot table looks at, um, creates a list of uh, student advisors and then the number of students per advisor. And for this, um, I created a filter which can um, select subsets of uh, information, subsets of uh, data by advisor. And these uh, slicers, if, our, if they are created for pivot tables, they apply to all of the pivot tables uh, on your dashboard. So if I use this slicer, by advisor for instance if i click on this drop down menu and then i uncheck uh, maybe some of the names here you will see that um, both tables have changed and the data in the graph has uh, changed as well so this gives me the flexibility of uh, only looking at um, students uh, or the enrollment and uh, student status by advisor as well. So this is how to create a pivot table um, to include in a dashboard in Google Sheets and how to create a chart based on a pivot table. These uh, allow uh, the summarized information to be automatically updated as we add more data into our file or um, as we make changes.